Hi, I'm Shane Shackleton and I'm here with Kim Narayan from Mortgage Choice and welcome to the how-to segment on all things property. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Okay, Kim, I do have another question for you. Sure. I'm a young person uh, looking to get into the property market. Do I first buy a house to live in or an investment property? That's a great question, Shane. It's often a question that I get asked of me, of my clients. Um, should I rent um, and stay where I am or should I buy an investment property or buy an owner occupy? Um, look, I think that the thing that's changing people's minds here is that there's not as many government initiatives anymore. Um, the first home buyer concessions have actually gone if you were looking to buy an existing property. So to reap the benefits of the concessions, um, people do have to look at buying a, a brand new property that hasn't been lived in, which often is, is out of reach for people. They can't afford to go into that market as yet. Quite often people are actually looking at using their deposit towards an investment property um, to start building an investment portfolio uh, versus put all that money into a property that they may live in. Well, thank you very much for your insight, Kim. Um, this has been Kim Narayan from Mortgage Choice and I'm Shane Shackleton and thank you for joining us on How To DIY TV, the All Things Property segment.